Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Yes, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Child, Kenya Moore's not trash, Marlo. You're trash. You're trash, Marlo, not Kenya Moore. And I guess you learned your ish from Nene Leak since it doesn't seem like she cares one hell of a bean. Uh, allegedly about her oldest son. We hear about Brett. We hear about Brett, Brent, Brent, Brent. But we have never in the, probably in almost a year, we've heard anything positive about Bryson. Okay? Her first baby boy. And you're taking over the reins now. You're taking over the reins younger people. And I say that because I really feel, after watching last night's episode, that Marlo used her nephew as collateral damage to get a peach on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. How do I say so? What is her storyline? Her nephews, her becoming a Monty. But on this last episode, she threw out her nephews because she had a temper tantrum that they didn't do what she had asked them to do which was to clean their rooms and stay good in school where she didn't have to come down there talk to nobody about their behavior how dare you marlo hampton i'm calling your bullshit out i don't care who gets offended technically they should really take your peach because that's not housewives material. How can you use your nephews as a storyline? Not also use them, but you also threw them away. Now, isn't that just like how some foster kids feel when they can't find a home full of love and excitement? caring and sharing the american dream marlo i am so disappointed in you and you're saying can your more trash for calling you out for calling out your bullshit when it came to being a loyal protective provider for your nephews because you definitely made your sister a storyline also saying that oh my gosh I had to take over my sister's kids because she was mentally ill. She was uh, not doing well. Uh, this, that, and the third. Just smearing. A smear campaign against your own biological sister. And then you're doing the same thing with her children. How could you do such a thing, Marlo Hampton? Oh, my goodness. I am so glad Kenya did call you out. Of your bullshit. Because it was just. It's terrible. I don't know how you can consider yourself a lovable person. But yet you do the things. That you despise. Other people doing. For foster kids. Like you got on candy. Talking about. Oh I don't need no second hand stuff. I don't. I don't I, no these children. Or these girls. They need new brand new stuff you know every time you know somebody want to get them something y'all want to think about giving you see what hell what you think homeless people get they get used stuff too they get everybody get used stuff once or twice in their lifetime especially if they're the oldest child oh, i'm sorry the youngest child you're gonna get the hand-me-down pass downs 
But I was kind of like taking up for you. Like, yeah, Milo was doing real good by doing that or saying that to Candy. Because foster kids always get less than. They always seen as less than when it's really not true. But when you give them secondhand used clothes, they can be somewhat detrimental to their state of mind and how they felt like why I'm not good enough to be adopted why I'm not good enough to have brand new clothes you know so you go through that and Marlo called herself went through that because her mother was you know allegedly strung out on substances and she had to run away from home at 10 years old you know she's giving us this heroic type example of a human being and how she uh, overcame the stigmatization of being a foster kid, being in the foster system, and feeling like nobody really cared, like not having a family. But yet she gonna get on Candy about uh, Candy's not a true friend. Candy's never there, you know, trying to help out. She's not doing nothing for the black community. Well, to me, it seems like Marlo. You're not doing anything for the black community either. Because like Candy said, where's your businesses? Where's your uh, archive? What are you giving back, donating back to the community? Have you employed some black individuals or some foster kids um, during the summertime to help out at your show? Stopping um, Museum of Clothing and Arts. I don't think so. No, you haven't. Ooh, I was so mad. I was fit to be tired when I saw the episode last night. Talking about talking to Candy and like seclusion or in their own sort of confessional uh, session away from the other young ladies or the other ladies that had come down for the pajama party <coughs> that Sheree was throwing. Get down, Jaden. And so, um, yeah, you, 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 I ain't seen no tears, you know what I'm saying? I ain't seen no tears when it came to Sheree. When we were talking about um, her boyfriend, con artist, whatever you want to see him as now. Uh, but we ain't talking about Sheree. We talking about Marlo Hampton. And all her stance of being a good Monty, taking over her uh sister's kids giving giving them a home providing for them food clothes and shelter and then at the same breath at that same mouth of yours you're gonna say kenya is trash okay no kenya's not trash you're trash marlo because how could you do that to your nephews you're supposed to provide security and a safety net for them and be their hero but now it's like i can't deal with y'all i want my life back why 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 like a little baby a sport brat you call it candy a sport brat but look at here looky 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 who comes cooking seems like you're the sport brat marlo and quite as the skip lies i'm gonna speak it out i heard that ted turner was your sugar daddy okay he was your big papa back in the day. Did you did were you were you the cause of Jane Fonda leaving Ted Turner girl? Were you the problem, the catalyst of Jane Fonda? The ex exercise guru person. I know who y'all know. I know y'all know who I'm talking about. Were you the cause of Jane Fonda saying, I call it quits. Can't do it no more. Go on and have your black women. Was it you, my little girl? And then you getting upset because everybody want to know where you get your money from to be able to afford what you do. Because you, you are not a frugal person. You're not a penny pincher like Candy trying to save all she can for her legacy, for her time where she's going to be retired and uh, taking the world by storm, by traveling, seeing each and everything with her husband talk. Y'all know how I feel about Todd, but I got the one up Todd tonight because I'm with Candy. Get a husband. Then you could tell her what to do with one. But right now, from all the time we have been seeing you on the show as a friend, we have never seen your man, your men. So, allegedly, they say you're an escort. 
Are you still turning tricks? Are you still turning out men, girl? We wants to know. Because y'all know I'm messy as hell. And I love a good gossip. <laughs> y'all know I'm nosy. And I love some good gossip. So tell us the tea, Marlo. Tell us the tea. But what they need to do really is snatch that peach back from you. And don't have you as a friend. And don't have you as a housewife. You need to be excommunicated. And I was so damn rooting for you. I was there rooting for you every uh, episode. Trying to say, now nah, Marlo bringing the drama. She know what it takes. She know the atmosphere, the climate that she's in. And she's going to win, okay? But I take all that back now. And I don't think you ever get that trust and that respect back from me. From the F. Chanel's 40s world, girl. Anything we need to be on your ass dragging you every time we get behind this screen. So all, we all need to just pray for the boys. Pray for the boys because right now, Marlo is treating them like second class citizens. Like they don't deserve they don't deserve to get what she has been offering them because she's been spoiling them. Because she gave them more than what they've ever had. Like putting down the boys. We didn't need to know all that, Marlo. We know if they got taken from their mother and given to you to raise, then we knew it was a problem. But then you're going to dump them on your sister, who are your youngest sister, who already have four kids. You're going to add two more to the mix. Meaning, where is she getting her finances to take care of the boys? What are you doing? What are you giving her towards money financially? Since you were supposed to be taking care of them, now you felt like you need to have your own space. You, you, you know, you wanting to have a pity party. Are you paying her something? For the upkeep of them. I feel it's only necessary. I feel it's only necessary. And you don't really need to get them back. You really don't. And Candy was being very generous. With saying what she did say to you on last night's event. That yeah you do need counseling Marlo. Yes you do. Because it, you could have worked that situation out a little bit better. Than you did. You can't kick people out like that. Just because the kids don't want to clean their room and listen to you all the time, 24-7. That's what it's called being a parent. Kids get on your goddamn nerves all the time. Well, I won't say all the time, but 98% of the time. But you as parents have to understand, give leeway, and keep setting the great example of who you want them to be one day. But I called foul on you, Marlo. I called foul on you, girl. I was very highly disappointed. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Y'all like it, love it. Gotta have more heart. And keep the boys in prayer. Because Marlo just don't know the damage that she is doing to those boys. By putting them out like that and putting them on another family member. Like they ain't worth their uh, salt. <sighs> That's all I got, y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.